Here we go. Go if you're lost. I'm a guard, not the town crier. We all have our place. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. Aloy. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Durval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Errand, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer?
We can't worry about that now. All that matters is that we catch her killer before he strikes again. How much like her you sound. You are correct, of course. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. of your time, Outlander? Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family. Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Ah, oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant to... A well-molded woman such as you. Uh, <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuk camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To just investigate, that's all. Uh, those Banuk are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right, more of an opportunist. Uh, girl, uh, Nora girl, <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities, risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right, I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. Uh, um, the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well... You can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. 
Something's dripping from the ceiling. It's a bomb, all right. Well crafted. If that bomb goes off, the blaze will ignite in a firestorm. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force, I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. <laughs> Best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This isn't over. Duval said he'd make a Vogue watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. Now that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. tracks with just a bit of blaze in them. Can I interest you in a reasonable share of a Get to the fire and shut up a bucket line! What happened? I haven't heard a blast like that since... I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are you under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. Must be where Durval assembled the detonator. <sighs> he tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace.
Wish I could be there to see the sun god on his knees. Get it while I can. Someone's got a darn the rear. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian, Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. Didn't? I, I didn't hear anything! There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! This will help. What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Let's do this. Ha! Ah, those majestic, murderous glint hawks! <laughs> Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you! Fighting these things because there's more in the way.
No space. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Erend, you'll screw it up! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do. Right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <laughs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Yeah, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for Erend Vanguardsman? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. Well. I know, you gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. Well, she likes me. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. 
You're strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's going to take me far from Meridian. Uh, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman, just as Ursa was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us, not a goodbye. It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. 